Hi everybody. Welcome to Color Conversations with Crawford Street. I'm Tanner and today's color that we're going to be talking about is Sherwin-Williams 7551 Greek Villa. So we all know that white is not white and there are actually several shades of white but that white is a part of every color palette. Almost every single project involves some sort of base color that is white. Now, how much of you use, how much white you use, of course, is up to you. But lately, we do know that white is a big color, whereas white, you know, traditionally, um, you know, is is seen as maybe a contrasting trim or a highlighting color. Um, it's really now been wall colors and whole house colors and wall and trim colors. So white itself has become almost its own color group because there are white whites and there are creamy whites and there are gray whites and blue whites and there are even purple whites. And, and um, so this is undoubtedly with a hundred percent assured assurance this is one of our favorite whites it's almost as if you can't go wrong when you use greek villa and this is why it is crisp enough to go with anything that is pure white it is if you have white cabinetry it's still going to go. If, if this is your trim color, even if it butts right up to your white cabinetry, it is still going to be white enough to look white. If you have a white tub in there, a white acrylic tub or a white toilet, and you're talking about this room and a white pedestal sink, this is still going to match white, white. Anything that comes in the building home decor world that is just white Greek Villa is going to match. Um, However, it is not stark white. It has just a hint of something else. And the reason I say something else is because it's not, it doesn't pull creamy. It does not pull gray 100%. It's just, it's just not white. You know what I mean? So it's, it's when you want, man, I want my color to appear white, but I don't want it white white then greek villa is that it is i mean so when you see it next to white white you can see that it is white it is white but it is not white white to where it almost takes on a cool effect it is going to appear nice and warm in a very natural way so if you have cooler colors throughout if you have a gray and you're looking for a white that will you know, transition nicely into some more warmer components. Like say you're wanting to bring in a, a brown leather or um, some other wood elements. And you're like, I mean, I don't want to go too crisp white because I've already got gray and it's a cool color. I need a white that's going to help me bring in some warmth. Greek Villa is going to be crisp white enough, you know. So again, if, you're, if your ceilings are white and in most cases, it's just called a ceiling white. It is just white, white, you know, and that's what most builders are gonna use in contractors for the ceilings, um, and it's a flat color. So if you're using a wall color or a trim color and you think, I want it to still tie in with the ceilings, I want it to, to, to look white. I don't want it to be like a big difference. However, I don't want it to be builder white. You know what I mean? Greek Villa is your color. Again, it's going to offer just a little something different than white, but it's going to go with anything you have that's white. We have used this everywhere. We have used this on whole exteriors of homes, brick and siding um, and trim. It's beautiful because like I said, it is, it's, it's white and it offers a nice crisp, clean, beautiful white exterior. It's a great exterior color, <clears throat> but it's not stark. And so when you're talking about adding that, that layer of natural light onto it, 
on an exterior. It is a beautiful color and it goes with anything and everything. We've pulled it with cool tones, warm tones, black hardware, bronze hardware. It is greens, blues. It is honestly a great, great white. Um, so we've used it on exteriors. We've of course used it on trim, on interiors. Um, it, I, again, I can't tell you how, how well it plays with if you just have builder basic white cabinetry. This is gonna play so nice with it without, you know, making everything just feel like it was unfinished in white. You know, it's, it, 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 it's, you can see just the, the bit of warmth, just the bit of hominess, uh, dare I say creaminess. It just lightens things up. It's as if somehow some natural light got onto your crisp white and that's what you're viewing all the time with, with Great Villa. It's like just, just a hit of something. And so, um, it works really as a great highlight component. It works um, when you are <clears throat> wanting a, a contrast, you know, a crisp contrast um, between black and white. This is a great white that's not white, white. However, if you're wanting kind of that black and white look or that black and, I mean, that white and deep bronze look, this is going to give you the crisp um, white effect, a modern farmhouse effect. 100%. But again, taking you back into traditional, <clears throat> it's still going to pull, you know, warm woods, cherry woods, even very nicely. Um, and so it's, it's one of our favorites. It's probably one of our first go-tos just to see how it fits with the palette. Um, and then, uh, you know, we adjust from there if we need to. But if you are looking for a white, a white, not a cream, not an ivory, not an off-white, not a beige, not a tan, not a not another color. If you're looking for white, but that just is not white white, this is your color. Um, try it out. Like we always say, start there, play around with it, see what you think. This is probably one that would would be you know willing to bet it's going to work on your project because it's just like I said it's going to go great with with warms and cools it's going to offer you the whiteness the crispness if you have a lot of colors in your palette and then you don't need your white to hold any other color I'll just tell you that if you have a unless you're intentionally pulling a gray or something but if you have already colors and you just need a good canvas color, but you don't want it to feel stark, this is this is it. This is your white that is not white. Okay, so again, it's Greek Villa, 7551. <clears throat> See what you think if you use it, let us know. We could talk about Greek Villa projects all day. If you'd like to see a project with Greek Villa on interior or exterior, trim work, you know, um, a wall color, let us know. We'd be happy to, to, you know, send some pictures. Reach out if you have any questions. If you have a color request, just let us know. Crawford Street Designs at Gmail. And subscribe if you want to have more color conversations. Bye, everybody. Have a great day. See you next time.